This guy <laughs> shot the hell out of me. Um, all right, tell me about what's going on here, what the thought was. And I know one thing you guys talked about at Fantastic Arcade that I thought was pretty interesting was uh, was that, damn it. Concentrate. <laughs> I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep dropping off sentences. Was that, uh, what was the deal? You had grenades, and why'd you take grenades out of the game? Uh, it didn't fit the style of the game. Yeah. Uh, Want to keep it more low key with just weapons that fit in with the theme of the game. Yeah, no flamethrowers and stuff like that. Yeah, even yeah. though it's cool. Yeah, let's walk through what weapons are in there because um, I think that's kind of interesting. I think all the weapons that are lying on the floor we actually have in the game, except the uh, the wooden plank, right? Yeah. And uh, if you press E again, you can uh, toggle through the different uh, shooting weapons. Man, those are loud. I don't know how to turn that on without just totally jacking this thing up. I'll try it one more time. Game sounds? We don't have any game sounds. It's... the volume is off here. Oh, have you muted it? <laughs> yes. Or we would hear a double... You'd hear oh. all... Yeah. Smart. Let's see if it's in here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn Super Carnage way down because that's really loud. All right. You make it normal car Carnage. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make normal Carnage. There we go. That's a little better. So we got this machine gun, right? <laughs> Jesus, why is he naked? <laughs> Jonathan? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. What is up? <laughs> I killed the aborted beaver. <laughs> why is he naked? Uh. You were supposed to get points for, like, starting levels without weapons or clothes. <laughs> yeah. And you could equip, like, um, some superhero stuff with maybe a bulletproof vest or something like that. And you were going to get less points for that. But yeah, uh, we, I never got that far with the prototype. Naked is best. Yeah. I love naked people. What about flamethrowing? That one is cool. I love the sound for the flamethrower. Yeah, me too. It sounds like this futuristic flamethrower. Can you I set yourself on fire? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So Drive was the main inspiration, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Is naked DLC, no. It's, uh, <laughs> it was... Corona. Look Perverts. at this. <laughs> I like this particular choice in weaponry. I can't imagine this ever being in Hotline Miami. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting humped by a dog. So, so what was, the, you know, you did this five years ago? Oh shit. Yeah. And you know what, I think you, you know, mentioned it Fantastic Arcade, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Like, the games that you were kind of inspired inspired by, uh, can you talk a little bit about those? Because I thought, you know, I had never heard of them, to be honest with you, but they're fucking amazing after I've kind of looked them up online. Yeah, uh, there was this uh, Japanese developer called Ikiki, uh, who made, he also made games about uh, naked people killing others. Uh... Uh, one of them is a ninja game, uh, which I really like, which sort of, I tried to get the same feeling in Hotline Miami of, uh, like having all the means to be good at the game from the start and not acquiring any abilities or anything like that. Right. Just, uh, <laughs> learning how to control, uh, the player character and be good at the game. And that's sort of what he does in all of his games um, that you always have everything from the start more or less and you just have to learn how to use it uh, in a, an effective way I like that because it doesn't make you have to worry I mean in Hotline Miami when I play it doesn't make you worry about you know the masks I guess are the only thing that you can consider a perk yeah. Um, but it doesn't make you worry about managing anything, which, you know, I think a lot of people are tempted to do is put in all these perks and, and you know, RPG kind of elements. And uh, 
I don't know. It just it's nice to just have everything from the get go. You know what the rules are, and the only thing that really changes is if you change them yourself, right? With uh, with the you know with the masks. Yeah. I think it's a. Uh, I like that a lot because it's it makes every level feel like you can walk in, do what you need to do. Oh Jesus! And there's not a, anything new and complicated to learn. The only like uh, the only kind of thing I thought was. Um, interesting or that changes it up is these I'm not going to give it any spoilers away but like these these things like you know with a massive explosion for example or some of the boss battles that really change it up I really like that and there's, yeah. not, there's not a whole lot of complicated uh, changing of mechanics throughout the game alright so I'm going to try it again this time I'm going to use ok I'm going to lay down some questions here right now yeah 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 get on it uh, someone asked if we're going to finish Life Death Island yeah, and I think we will do something with it. Yeah, we have to because there's a lot of good ideas in that game, but it's, it got way too big for us. Yeah, and we, it it didn't get like fun to play while we were working on it. It still was it was okay to play, but it wasn't really fun to play like what Miami Mammy is. No, but we're gonna so, do something of it. Yeah, we'll have to has, like the weapon upgrading is really fun and. Yeah, but the basic gameplay we have to change that yeah. a lot to make it fun to play. But something will come out of it. Yeah. And someone asked if we we're gonna do a sequel or a DLC, and we will do a. a Should we call it a sequel? Yeah, it's a yeah, sequel. it's a sequel. We're gonna do a sequel. It's gonna be just as big as the the original game, but we're gonna re gonna remake uh, reuse a lot of like the graphics and and code and stuff like that. So. It yeah, n not like reuse everything, but maybe the basic enemies or. Yeah, and we'll add more, more enemies as well. Yeah, more stuff. But but it's gonna you you're gonna like recognize yourself when you play the game. Yeah, we're not gonna redo everything from scratch. I tell you, um, you guys mentioned a little bit. I don't want to necessarily get into it, but you mentioned some of the ideas you had. I'm pretty excited about it, just because it's gonna be a lot like Hotline Miami. But it's gonna have. It seems like it'll have. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like almost a, still a new experience. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, gonna be a lot more different characters that you play as. It has like different twists to the story. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we don't want to make the same game again. No. We're gonna try to like do something new with it. But we want to. We want to keep the like the the tense feeling when you play the like the action sequence sequence and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, ma like <coughs> the focus on mass will not be as <coughs> big in this game, uh, and there's gonna be maybe a bit more dialogue and a bit more exploring, kind of. Yeah, I think a little bit more, not really adventure elements, but something close to that. Yeah, but to like, we're still gonna do the same. Way we did with the last game that it's going to be kind of brief and you can sort of skip through it if you don't want the story, just want the gameplay. And the action will be intact. You, you will play the game pretty much the same as you played the first game. With tweaks, like if you have different characters, they will control a bit differently, like the biker. But yeah, maybe. you're gonna be. We're gonna have like you're gonna. There's one character that you actually play two of them at once. Yeah. Um, yeah. That sounds freaking awesome. I'm excited about it. So, hey, I got a question on this uh, prototype. There, you know, when at what point did you decide like the grenade thing? Because and the grenade and the, the flamethrower and the minigun. I mentioned you mentioned this before. And for those just joining, this is a prototype of Hotline Miami called Super Carnage. Well, at least it was called Super Carnage at the time. But on the minigun and like the heavy stuff like grenades. You know, obviously you said it didn't feel like it fit into Hotline Miami itself. Was that from a, I don't know, was that strictly from a, uh, like, a gameplay standpoint or from, like, a thematic, like, that really would work in that world? That was completely uh, a style choice. Yeah. We chose to go with the style before Substance on that, like, it felt more important to keep the game focused in the world that we created around it than to make the gameplay more varied and fun. Yeah, that makes sense. At what point yeah. did what point did you guys? I mean, this this prototype, like you said, it's five years old. I, 
you didn't, at this point, it wasn't set in the 80s or it wasn't set in Miami, right? This was just kind of more of a gameplay prototype. There was no, yeah. no particular, sh oh shit, no particular story, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was a quick look, because I think that's all there really is to this prototype. Is there anything else you want to say or talk about before I move on to that the next build? I want to see a bit the uh, whole level with just a melee weapon. Yeah, that's, not, <laughs> that's certainly not going to happen, and you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, give it a, I'll give it a fucking shot real quick, but there's no way that happens. So like everybody, everybody's quiet, no questions. <laughs> just let's, let Nigel focus here. Oh. No, I, I don't like that at all. I, I died immediately. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I literally didn't kill anybody. Oh, what's up, dog? <laughs> Snoop Dogg. You see how well that worked? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck at this game, Nigel. This isn't a game. <laughs> this, this isn't a game? This isn't a game. I'm going to say this game sucks. How's that? Oh, I think you're right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this game will be coming to... Dreamcast. Oh, this game's coming to Dreamcast this February. Super Carnage. No, oh, no, this is GTA 5 for everybody uh, just to know. Yeah, so, so everybody knows this is GTA 5. This is first look hands on gameplay. Yeah, back to the roots. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fuck this. 